Well, the idea of Western New York as a national technology hub might sound a little far-fetched to some, but there is a push going on right now to make that become a reality. Good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. That push brought Senator Chuck Schumer here today with the goal of an $100 million investment from Washington. It's a lot of money. <laughs> Two on your sides, Dave McKinley went to find out what all that money can do. That's a lot of dough, Dave. That's a lot of cash, Mary Alice. So far, out of 529 applicants, Western New York remains among 60 communities still in the running to get one of the 20 to 30 grants of up to $100 million to eventually be awarded from the American Rescue Plan. That means that the chances have improved to about well, one out of two for our region anyway. The proposal for West of New York to get one was submitted by Empire State Development, and it makes a case for using the money to further advance manufacturing, uh, such as that which goes on here at the Buffalo Manufacturing Works at Northland Workforce Training Center. But according to Senator Schumer, landing one of these grants actually sets the area up for an even bigger prize, which would be getting one of only 10 one billion dollar USICA grants to create a regional tech hub. The USICA bill has to pass and then they have to set up the uh, process to choose the billion dollar tech hubs. But again, I am going to use everything I got to choose Western New York. Schumer says if the area were to be awarded that kind of money, he'd push to have that tech hub built at the still largely vacant Stamp Industrial Park in Genesee County. As the current Senate Majority Leader, one might presume Schuter, uh, Schumer rather would have the juice to land such a grant for West of New York coming up at 6. Some of the other reasons Senator Schumer thinks that our area has a good chance of being awarded one of these grants. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.